Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Simone. If you haven't subscribed already, which I'm sure you haven't, subscribe now so you don't lose me in this YouTube world. Today's video is actually a response to Gabby from Nikki and Gabby. She has a vlog channel. It's named Fancy Vlogs by Gabby. And she's so cute. She inspires me and I love her to death. And just basically letting you know how to be confident and love yourself, regardless what other people think. Know yourself, love yourself, and respect yourself. It's definitely a big part when you want to live in LA. Knowing yourself, first of all, when you want to go out there, you want to know who you are. You want to, um, if, especially if you're going out there to pursue an entertainment industry um, and get yourself out there, make a brand, whatever you want to do, put your name out there. Um, you basically want to know who you are and what you stand for. And don't ever let anyone think they can tell you otherwise. Love yourself because if you don't love yourself, how do you expect to marry someone someday? You can't love you. If you can't love yourself, then no one's gonna love you. No, you're not gonna sell yourself at auditions. You're not gonna you're not you're not gonna pick up gigs if you're into that kind of thing. You know? So living in LA, you do have to like know yourself and love yourself because it is such a big industry and such um so much, you know competition that it is it's it's really hard respect yourself you don't want to go out there in LA and just make a bad name for yourself and do crazy wild things that you can't really take back and you just kind of have to know your limit and make sure you be careful who you pick your friends with or who you choose to be friends with I don't, I don't think I said that right be kind because you want to be kind because I mean that's just a way of life like you don't want to be walking around angry all the time do you it's just like it's so much energy to put back negative energy than putting in positive energy you don't want your face of the brand you know people who might you know, know your brand, they might be a fan of your stuff, and they meet you personally, and you're rude, they're not going to want to buy your stuff, they're not going to want to support you anymore, um, and if someone else is being rude to you, yeah, it might be very tempting to be very rude back, but you get so much more grace out of being kind to someone, um, if they're being rude to you. Hobby could be very good just because like it's something to do something to get out of the house when you're in LA and just you know get in that motion and finding new places to eat you know finding new places to go and hang out if you have friends out there already so if you're brand new to LA go do something because you will find someone out there and you know LA's people were pretty friendly so yeah, you'll find someone to do your hobby with or, you know, just chill with, you know? Just go out there and do something. <sighs> plastic surgery. LA is known for plastic surgery. Yes, I get it. You don't have to get plastic surgery. It's definitely an uh, uh, option. Um, so, I personally don't want plastic surgery although I did have a cosmetic surgery I got my boobs reduced only because when I was in high school they kind of hurt my back and they just made me feel really depressed so health wise I had to get my boobs down a size or two because it was just really hurting me but plastic surgery it, it's not bad but it's not that great so um yeah Plastic surgery you could do without, but if you want to get plastic surgery, please just know what your risks are, your consequences, and know what you're doing. Find a good doctor. Don't just find the first doctor you find because you just really want it done. Like, really do your research. So, my response to Gabby and something that she said in the video that she posted, um, the Chief of LA, um, she said something about designer bags, how people look at you crazy with, if you don't have a designer bag. Um, I think that's pretty sad, the story she told about it, about Nikki having a Target bag and people look her up and down. It's crazy. 
Um, personally, I don't really do that from being from LA. Um, so not everyone is just materialistic like others. Some people just move out to LA because they're about that life and they have that kind of money. So, um, but yeah, designer bags are nothing. Designer anything is nothing. It's, it's, it's cloth. It's a material thing that can be easily lost, stolen, and ripped up and put, and put on fire. Like, I don't, it's nothing. LA is definitely all about the entertainment industry. It's the main focus right now. And people are moving out to LA just because they want to make it out in the industry. And the industry is very cutthroat, you guys. And I just want you to know, you know, you can do so much in different other states. LA is the main, but you, you know, you have New York for fashion. You have Dallas mainly for, I feel like, music. Um, and art, you know, um, and you know, some singers came out of Dallas. Like, it's 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 not a must that you have to move to LA because you want to be an actor. You can't be an actor if, unless you're in LA, or you can't pursue your dreams unless you're in LA. Like, that's nonsense, insane. You don't have to move to LA just because you want to make it in the industry. It's just you have a bigger chance because you're already out there, and there's more auditions out there than maybe you know out here in Dallas, um, you know, in Ohio, you know, out, whatever, wherever you are, I don't know. Us girls in LA are stuck up. Um, what? I don't know. People say girls in LA, from LA, are very just bougie and just stuck up, and I really take offense to that because, one, I'm from there, and two, I get that a lot. Um, but, but I don't understand because I, I'm really nice. I do have a way I talk. Um, I talk very proper, and that being from LA coming to Dallas, that's being bougie, or that's being stuck up, or if I don't want to talk to a guy, or if I don't feel, you know, I don't want to do something, whatever, I'm being stuck up. Like, and it's just, I feel like all the the good looking women out there get they're stuck up because they don't want to do something, or they don't. They don't feel like, you know, talking to a certain person or whatever. I don't have to talk to you. I don't have to, you know, be very nice to you. I don't have to smile at you. If I smile at you, then they'd be happy because you're lucky. I don't smile very often, so. I mean, there are some stuck-up girls in L.A., definitely, but not all of them are like that. I'm not like that. There, most girls out there are very chill, very adventurous, you know, just... Some girls are like more to themselves, and some girls can be just a bitch. Um, a lot of times, you know, you go into the high brand stuff, and like, you know, if you tell someone, oh, I'm gonna dress for this event or whatever, and like, they look at you like, who are you? You're not a celebrity. Why are you going to these events? Like, what? Um, I remember Simply Vanessa said something about that, and I thought that was funny. Like, yeah, it's a thing out there where if you go to high-end brands or whatever and you go to a certain event, like, they'll ask you, girl, who are you? How are you invited to these events? Can I go with you? Can we be friends? And it's a, it's a thing. I'm sorry that you have to go through that when you're in L.A., but you do because everyone has to be somebody in L.A. to be cool. But that's not very good. <laughs> Um, but that it is like that. I can't, I can't, I can't cover for LA for that because that is, I mean, the people in LA for that just because it's, it's not cool to just be friends with someone because they have a certain career or because they have certain amounts of money coming in and it's just not cool, but it is what it is. And if you have friends like that, I suggest you leave them alone because they're not your friends. It was also brought to the attention that you have to dress a certain way in LA or you just will be looked at up and down. It is slightly true because one, why would you like, I mean it's just like anything. Have you not seen the Walmart page like when like crazy people go to Walmart they get their picture taken and then on the Walmart, the ghetto Walmart page. It's just like that. Like why would you go out the house like that? What made you want to go out the house like that? And you know, like some people have different styles. Some people like to stare at people just because they have a different style. They've never seen that style. So, you know, maybe 
you they might have a mean face on you on them but they're probably just analyzing your your style you know what you're wearing um but some people do like talk bad about people who you know wear the thought leggings and just you know a a, a long dress t-shirt or whatever and it's life people are going to talk about you whether you wear sweatpants or heels it doesn't matter like people are going to talk about you so wear what the hell you want so guys that is my video i hope you like it give it a thumbs up if you do and if you took some advice from this please give it a thumbs up and subscribe i would love it and i would love you even more also let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see because i am trying to get my summer videos up and running and going on my notebook here so so thank you guys again once for watching and um i'll see you guys later bye